Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write decimals in expanded form using fractions. And we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now, when I say expanded form, that just means that we expand these numbers out to show the value of each digit. Expanded form really helps our overall number sense and understanding of numbers. So let's jump into number one, where we have 902 thousandths. Now I'm going to use the place value chart at the top of your screen for number one here to break this number down and really see what the value of each digit is. So we start with whole number, the whole number portion of um, this decimal. And we don't have a whole number, we have a zero there. So let's write zero for our whole number. Then we have a decimal. Then we have a nine in the tenths place, a zero in the hundredths, and a two in the thousandths. So 902 thousandths. So we have two digits that we need to show the value of, this nine and the two. We don't need to worry about the zeros. So we know the nine has a value of nine tenths, and the two has a value of two thousandths. Now when it comes to writing these decimals in expanded form using fractions, there's actually two ways to do it. So I will do both ways for each of these four examples. So the first way is a little bit uh, simpler and we can just write nine tenths, nine tenths plus two thousandths, two thousandths. The second way involves parentheses. This is what I call the parenthesis method. So we would have a nine in the tenths place. That's how I like to say it and think of it, but it's nine times a tenth, which equals nine tenths, plus a two in the thousandths place. But what it really means here is two times one thousandth, and that equals that right there. So two different ways to expand 902 thousandths out. Um, one just plain fractions, and the other, uh, which I call the parentheses method, includes the digit in the place times the value of that place, meaning we had a nine in the tenths place, and a two in the thousandths place. All right, on to number two, where we have 390 and 81 hundredths. So here we have a whole number. So let's start with the three, which has a value of 300, plus a nine with a value of 90, plus we can leave that zero out, that's in the ones place, so we move to the tenths, and we have 8 tenths, so 8 over 10 to represent 8 tenths, plus a 1 in the hundredths, so 1 hundredth. As far as parentheses method, we have a 3 in the hundreds, so let's 3 times 100, or 3 in the hundreds place, plus 9 in the tens place, plus we have an 8 in the tenths, so eight times one tenth equals eight tenths, plus a one in the hundredths. So one times one hundredth equals one hundredth. So this is the same as that, same as that there, same as that there, and same as that there. All right, on to number three, where we have 60 and 29 hundredths. So we start with the greatest value digit, so the one furthest to the left, which would be the six here, which is a six that has a value of 60, plus this two, which has a value of 2 tenths, plus this nine, and that has a value of 9 hundredths. So let's put it in the parentheses form here. So six, times 10, or six in the tens place, which is equivalent to 60, plus we have a two times one tenth, a two in the tenths place, plus a nine times one hundredth, or nine in the hundredths. And lastly, on to number four, where we have five 
and 403 thousandths. So we start with the 5, and that has a value of 5, plus this 4 has a value of 4 tenths, plus we don't need that zero, so we jump to the three there that has a value of three thousandths. All right, I'm going to try to squeeze this into the bottom right here. So we start with a five. Let's separate these. Five in the ones place, or five times one, plus a four times a tenth, so four in the tenths place, plus I'm going to go to the next line down, we have a three in the thousandths place, or three times one thousandth. So there you have it. There's how you put decimals into expanded form using fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.